Are you serious? Are you serious? Is Leviathan an actual creature or just a metaphor? This has been a question that people have been asking. And I, you know, I mean, really, they are seriously want to know. And here's another question. Is he still in the sea? Is he still in the sea? Well, there's some biblical scriptures that might, you might find very, very interesting. And has he ever been seen by people? And if so, do they live to tell about it? Well, let's talk about this. Go to the book of Job. For Job's getting into a deep theological discussion with God because, of course, he was so blessed. And then God decided to lift his hand of protection off of Job just to prove a point to Lucifer that Job would serve him no matter what. You might ask yourself why you're going through such a fiery trial right now and wonder what you've done wrong. You may have done nothing wrong. It may be just what you've done right. God knows he can trust you and he will always redeem you and bless you. Greater will be the blessing in the end than the beginning before the storm. I promise if you stay true to God. Well, let's look at the book of Job. In the book of Job, Job is in a deep theological discussion, starting to doubt, but holding fast to God. The Bible said he never sinned nor charged God foolishly, no matter how much misery he was in. And God, hearing Job's questioning, responds in Job 41 and says, Canest thou draw out Leviathan with a hook? Hey, Job, can you catch the serpent of the sea with a hook? Or his tongue with a cord, which thou lettest down? Canst thou put a hook into his nose, or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Will he make many supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Will thou take him for a servant forever? Because what God was saying is, because Job, guess what? I can. I am God. I'm in control. Don't ever doubt. Any folks in these last days when it gets really, really crazy out there and you're saying, where is God? He's right there. For the Lord hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but power and love and a sound mind. Okay, that's, that's, you're saying, okay, Paul, that's Job 41. Okay, go, go with me to Psalms 105, excuse me, 104. Psalms 104, verse 25 David writes, so is this great and wide sea wherein all things creeping innumerable, both small and great beast? There go the ships. This is, there's this Leviathan whom thou has made to play therein. These wait all upon thee that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. In other words, David's saying, look, the ships go out fishing, and yet while they're fishing, there's a Leviathan in the ocean that's fishing also, looking for the souls of men. And God, you have the power to feed them all. You can feed the fishermen, that let them catch their fish, or you can let Leviathan catch them. The power is truly in your hands. Well, some would say that, that's not enough proof for me. Okay, then go to Isaiah 27. Because in the book of Isaiah, God starts talking about how things are going to wind up in the end of time. And I love to read the poetry of the prophet Isaiah. I'll start in the 26th chapter of Isaiah at verse 19. He starts to tell you, what a great chapter. He'll tell you how things are going to be in the last days. Listen to this. Isaiah 26, 19. The dead men shall live. Together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing ye that dwell in dust. For, the, for thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. He's talking about the resurrection. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. Shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord's cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth shall also disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. 
There'll be no hiding from the judgment of God. And then look at the next verse, Isaiah 27, 1. It flows right with it. In that day, the Lord with his sore and great strong sword shall punish Lathiathan, the piercing serpent, even Lathiathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. Now, this is part of the prophecies of the last days, the resurrection from the dead of the saints and the exposing of the blood of man that has been shed and hidden, being revealed. And even Lathiathan in the depths of the sea, God will render judgment upon Lucifer for his wickedness upon mankind, that demonic demon of the sea, Lathiathan. But wait. Let's take this step, one more step. Let's go to Amos, if you will, in Amos chapter 9. You know, this is the book that made Amos famous. The Bible says in verse 1, I'm in Amos 9, 1. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door, that the post may shake. Cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, thence shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. You're not going to escape the judgment of God even if you try to fly to Mars. You can't build a colony on Mars and get away with it. Though they dig underground cities, judgment, God will find you in hell or on Mars. You can climb to the highest. You can fly off to the furthest planet. You can dig the deepest city. And though they hide themselves in the top of Mount Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. Though they be hid away from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. What serpent are we talking about here? Are you serious? We're talking about Lathiathan. Lathiathan. He's real. He's still there. He's not going to. Look, he's, this, we're talking about an immortality. We're talking about demon principality. You have the principalities of the air and you have principalities walking around on the ground. And you have principalities in the depths of the ocean. And you have principalities in space. A lot of times people are confusing alien encounters with demonic entities. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. This picture on my uh, thumbnail, that's a strange, weird sea creature that was spotted 13,000 feet in the depths of the sea. Is that Lathiathan?